Wow. I shot my shot. I did my shit. You know, I, I tried to average my 30. It happens. You know what I'm saying? But we back at it, man. Episode 151. Mm-hmm. It's Don Cole and Jimmy Gahippie Show. We are your hosts. Don Cole. Jimmy Gahippie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
There's no music videos on MTV2 no more. There's no music videos on MTV like that anymore. It's only remote. Where is um, remember MTV Classics, MTV Hits? Uh, 188. 188, 189. Well, I don't have none of that no more. Out. They took it away. So it's the like, only one that did videos is Revolt. Right. I don't watch Revolt on TV. I watch the shows on my phone. I'm on the, the oh, YouTube. Because okay. I don't watch the channel. in between, like, the space, the time that they have in between their shows, they, play they got like I've two, seen three it. hours. You, you it's, put it it's on. Like, it's like, like MTV. how it used to be, yeah. No, no, it's a little better. It's better because it's, it's straight black. Yeah, it's black like MTV. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> but I don't, bro, I don't, they, I don't even watch TV. If I'm yeah, watching yeah, TV, I'm watching sports. Yeah. Or some shit like so you that. think, so you think like the interview, the place. Mm -hmm. The video, right? The visual. Because the visual was more like to see their personality. Because you got to see a Jay-Z video and you saw how calm and cool he was in the projects or uh, fucking mafia. Well, not, I, shit, guess, right? I guess in general, but not for me. The videos kind of detail what I've seen listening to the song. Because you know I'm very visual, bro. So everything I listen to, every song I listen to, I don't see them in a booth recording. I see the topic. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I mean. It, so it shows it gave, their personality. Yeah, it gave more, um, not personality, but work ethic. Hove is not somebody who videos I've checked for. Yeah, because his personality is that. Like that mafioso, whatever. In the car, he and his, and then he next is going to come on, bust around, give me some more. Ooh, and you're like, oh shit. Rip. He's performing. And then you see Missy, and then we see Aaliyah. Right, those, Man, are, the, those are the, the videos. So that was giving you... The sacred Nights. Nice Remember, um... If I finish right. you, don't succeed. Oh, Remember yeah. that video? Yeah. And she was doing the slide stuff and shit. That shit that... Yeah, it shows who they are, because they put an input in their video. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then I think as time came across where it was more like talk shows, more radio talk for hip-hop and shit, that's where they started going to promote themselves more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I also then think, you get to see who they really are because they talking more. True, and I feel like BT kind of killed it off too. They stopped putting music videos on TV, bro. Yeah. So I and think Tyler Perry running that shit. I think he like what's the name reached out to him. You're not doing that. Bow reached out to him and said, "I want to be like creative person that I help you with that kind of stuff." Jack like, Moss. Yeah, I believe he could do that. For B Mr. Beasy, it's the 106. I think he could bring something like that, like music videos and stuff, back in there. Why not? Why are you looking like that? I don't think that Bow Wow is an in, uh, influencer. I don't think. I don't oh, think people. I don't yeah, I don't think that people, gotta do anything. Like I don't anything. think people follow what Bow Wow is doing. I don't think because Bow Wow is putting videos on BET, people are gonna be like, oh shit. I don't even think you want Bow Wow doing that. I mean, I. I wouldn't mind seeing what he would do in that space. What has he done? What you mean, what has he done? From, not... Because it sounds like you're trying to play Bow Wow. I am. The fuck? But why? How? You know, just... What has he What has he done? What? I mean, he hosted 106 and Park. Uh -huh. He hosted some other shit. Uh -huh. And he hosted some other shit. As far as running something, when have you seen that from Bow Wow that he could... Control and create. I mean, maybe give him a chance. No, I'm not fuck. saying give him the whole. No I'm, I'm not saying give him the whole channel. I'm saying give him some sort of no. creative no. executive spot. No. See him in an office and no. see what he does with this. Give him two hours of the no. of the day. No. And see what, what kind of shows he makes. This jockey. No. I'd rather I'm put, not. I'm, I'd rather you put, think I'm, I'm. You think I'm trying to say put him in front of the screen? No, mm. he's behind the scenes, and he gets. That's what I'm talking he about. He gets the hot shit that's out. He knows what's hot right now, and he puts it out like the videos and shit. I don't he know make that. a video list and I do what he do. From, I don't know that from Bow Wow. You could say that. You could name anybody and say, yeah, if he just stay behind the scenes and put the best shit out, you could say that for a bunch of niggas. I don't know that for Bow Wow. He's never did anything like that. And to where you know that the niggas are artists and a host. That's it. And a fucking reality TV uh, 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 personality now. I mean, but that's there is, but wait, the executive wait, producer of that wait, show. Wait, ain't nobody go ask that out. He said that I will be willing to do it. 
there's probably more people that are more credible and have that experience to okay. do that than fucking Shad Moss. But Why you just brought up his reality TV show, and that's his. He's the executive producer of that with him and Angela Simmons. They made that show up. He's behind the scenes of that show. Okay. Growing up, uh, what's that shit called? Hip hop. Hip hop in Atlanta. Or... Growing up, hip hop. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. Maybe he just. And it's maybe, trash. maybe he's better behind the scenes. That show is trash. I don't think so. I think you it's like a cool it. show. You like it? There's like this a lot of son. Everybody likes shit that everybody else doesn't like. It doesn't mean that it's hot. That show not hot, bro. That show hot. Check the ratings. I mean, it's. No Compared five seasons, it's probably the top three show of that channel. It's probably see how you said you assume that you can Google it and look it up, bro. <laughs> what what fucking channel is that shit on? It's on A and E, I believe. We ain't watching that, bro. You hear me? We ain't watching A and E, bro. What show you watch on A and E, bro? That that's it. <laughs> you. We ain't clicking through this shit. That shit ain't even on black people favorites. I'm lying? Because it's Shad Mars and, and it's hate? I, no, I, it's, I, it's real hate. Like, you, you be, that nigga don't need to be doing me. that? He don't need to be doing nothing. This is the nigga that be trolling and acting like he in first class? When, no, hell no. I don't want him doing anything that controls the culture, bro. So no, I'm gonna put no video. If you're gonna do your own little show on fucking A and E, go take that bullshit over there. I mean, this the culture, my nigga. No, he wasn't even right. What raps he wrote? Point that out to me first, before you tell me about his business shit. Ti and Snoop was writing this shit. I mean, he he got writing on, on this shit. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet he got a hook or two. No, he write his hooks. <laughs> I don't fuck with that nigga, bro. He's a, he's a clown. That's what he is. He's not a fucking legend. He's a clown. He's a legend. Cool, don't hate on him. I used to hate on him. Remember when I used to hate on him? He's a legend for what? For being young <coughs> and lying about his age at that time? Because he's my age? And he was lying about all he was so he could be a kid star for Jermaine Dupri? Why has he done as an adult, bro? I mean, we just spoke about the shit. Oh, it's easy show, right? No music. Where's music at? I believe he dropped the album two years ago or something like that. I don't follow him. And? Well, he said he about to drop something new. No, you just said he dropped some music <laughs> two years ago. And? I, what did you, we've been doing this for four years. Why did you bring it up? His music ain't been hot since. I mean, we spoke about Sen no, We no, spoke no, about no, his no. and um, on the see, show. We spoke about see, his and Soulja Boy shit. See. I'm saying, no, you, you said we've been doing His music ain't, ain't been, been hot since, since he was a little by wow. We yeah. was in high school? Since we was in high school. Yes. Yeah. You ain't got to think about it. Yes. I mean. I ain't been no Mario. Yeah. Because all well, that like you and Sid is still high school for us. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean. Crown, that's almost 20 I, years I don't now. want you to put me in this position. Niggas going to be like, why this nigga a hippie? <laughs> Stay in the upper back. I'm not. Going so hard for Chad Moss I'll the come, culture. I'll Chad come, Moss. See what I'm going Our conversation was about. Music videos and it. Tell nigga go do lottery right ticket part two. Tell us what he did with the money for the hood. Nah, we don't need a part two. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, I don't but, like that nigga. But uh, I think visuals should come back though. Because there's more platforms for you to do in, um, visuals. I feel like visuals shouldn't have went away. It gave you the opportunity to control it. Vivo. But a lot of and put in your own material on your own channel to where the supporters, your true supporters, come somewhere, subscribe. We seen it with TDE. When TDE they first did it, it they the was killing it with the visuals. This is why I, when niggas be like, damn, why you be going so hard on them? That wasn't here from the beginning. Y'all don't like, know about druggies and hoes, bro. Does Griselda, does Griselda uh, drop uh, a lot of visuals like that? Not, what the hell? That's the only visual I watch. Griselda? Yes. I mean, I don't want to call it, because I listen to Then he to just them. dropped the video for Trade It All. Bro, he did the video for We The Mafia. We The Mafia for the Bills. And on the same day, he did Trade It All on the field. I I think they they I think they wasn't as creative with their visuals. 
I think it's No, like, I think they just trying to show I think you they the grit. Just, yeah, like the grind and everything. Like they they video They show you they work, like you said, they work. They like, videos detail like their stayed, energy. The nigga stayed in the rare. They that they that old New York shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it like, details their energy. I don't mind it because that's what we grew up with. But I but you know, me and you love either videos that's showing a story or it look like a mini movie or, or something that's going with the song or something. Conway like drops some shit out for dropping tears. Ooh, you watch that Conway? video? Conway. Conway? Yeah. Rabbit dropping tears? Mm-hmm. We're going to watch that after. He, 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 every every verse, you know, he, he talked about Shay, he talked about his man that was rapping and and then he other, got the visual happening for the verse. For the right. whole shit. It ain't him rapping the year. Because I don't want to say. Steps, no. Uh, yeah, I don't want to say every artist. Story, every bro. artist in this era is kind of lackluster with videos. But most are. I watch. Now, I'll tell you this. Because I have Titan. Mm-hmm. I love Titan. And Titan puts videos on that shit. So. The artists I, I can know. say. In the past year. With the pandemic and shit. I have clicked that video section a few times when I seen, oh shit, you got a video for that? Mm-hmm. Like, I watch Russ and um, Ugly. No, oh. fuck that. I told you, Absol got to get back. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Russ video and changed. Little Baby. Ugly. Mm-hmm. I love that song. The video yeah. is like. That's the- I get the videos as he's up, he got money, they celebrating. I get the, you know what I'm saying? See how I'm just putting it together what it is? It's it? Russ. That's Russ. Um, I don't know. I expected a little more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I guess quarantine, pandemic, but they in Atlanta. But I watched that. My favorite video right now is the song I keep talking about. It's just in my head. The weekend, blind, uh, blind lights. Yeah. He really looked like, like it's crazy, what he's saying in that song. Like sunshine was perfect time for him to do that video on baby, cause it's empty. It really looks like he paid to have Vegas empty, so he could shoot that video. I ain't watched that shit. What? Movie. It gives me, it feels like, I'm not going to say which one, but it feels like in the vein in some Michael Jackson shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like some revamp Mike shit, bro. Niggas don't get into that. And then, especially with these, this, this, um, this skeleton that they use in these, these kids only using about two and a half minutes for a song. You can make a crazy visual. To extend the song. And throw niggas off with the song. Like, what? Oh, what? Oh, shit, what's happening? Hold on, we got two minutes of a, of a video and then the song come back the dialogue in. Dialogue and... <laughs> and, and <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It's not just giving so, you the song. So I, I, I don't know. Maybe it is happening. I'm just not seeing all the videos. Because the bad shit is wrong. just... Performance. The main shit is just the, the bop shit. It's bop, bop too. Yeah, it's just different... Different rooms, different colors, and her doing what she do. So I mean, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if it's working for us, it's working for us. But for me, since you shaking your ass and your cheeks out, it doesn't appease me. I mean, I'm pretty sure appeases. Especially. Uh, a, a, a bunch, just like I said to you, it might be hot to you and it's trash to everybody else. I, it doesn't get me. Yeah, that, that, this, the, I, that's why I said she still hasn't caught me. It, it, that doesn't that doesn't get me. I like when she was rapping. Remember when I spoke on that? At least this she, is before she was doing all of the twerk anthems and shit. Yeah. She was rapping and speaking more like like free like free woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. confident in myself. She was talking her she shit. She started doing that alter ego shit and all that shit. But she been had those. She been had though. She just found the one. That's what I was gonna she say. She found the one that everybody gravitated to. And I'm o- I'm, hot girl shit. I'm okay with it. It's, if you understood from the beginning, you get what what happened. Yeah, if you see what she, it's almost like Nikki. 
Like she, they, like no, mm. when they have all them different personalities and they found one that stuck with one. So I don't like, know with Nikki. But Nikki was just different. You know what I'm saying? She, I don't know. She's the one. Nikki was nice. And then she started doing that Roman's revenge she shit, and then got that, she Wayne. got into that. <laughs> she got with Wayne. <laughs> she started living that persona, nigga. <laughs> Yo, know, niggas need to thank Dipset for a lot of shit. After too. niggas, hold on, after hold niggas on. told us oh, she had the back, best verse on Monster. Back to Nikki, but it just, it, I be thinking about a lot of shit. And I'm glad we was around, we paid attention to this shit. Niggas gotta thank Dipset for a lot of shit, bro. Fashion. They favorite artists. Breaking artists. Uh, uh, the group shit. They took that shit somewhere else. Bro, there's Little Wayne. Meet Nicki Minaj if he's not in New York. Hanging around Dipset and doing tapes with Joel. Who's around Fendi and the come up. And Nicki was with Fendi. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that don't happen without Dipset moving the way they was moving at that time when nobody was really looking at New York. I mean, because Dipset went. With the South movement. They was fucking with it. No? You don't think they was they sounded like that? Their sound was moving towards that? They but they kept that East Coast flair in it, of course. They kept it Harlem, you know what I'm saying? I just think that they saw what Atlanta and all that shit was doing and they was fucking with niggas. I don't think so, bro. Because the Atlanta at that time is not the Atlanta now. That's the D4L, the franchise boys, and all that yeah. type shit. Yeah. But that that's not to say that there wasn't the Little Wings and shit that was rapping. That's what I mean by that. I, I don't mean just specifically Atlanta. I mean just South shit, period. But Joel was fucking with. They broke. No, they broke Wayne up. Yeah. And I mean, that's when Wayne either or Wayne he was still hot. When he, he started, he took off. That's when after Jay left, people start paying attention to Wayne when he said, I'm the best rapper alive since I mean, the best rapper think... retired. And it was like, whoa, hold on. Why was Wayne talking like that? I don't and then think he nobody, showed. I don't think nobody discredited this. Stuff. No, no, no. I'm not saying discredit, but you have to acknowledge that, bro. You have to acknowledge that. All right, we have uh, a podcast in this culture called Drink Champs, right? Mm -hmm. Where they give uh, veterans in this game flowers. Mm -hmm. I can see dips out there. Maybe working on it. This is what I mean. I think they get underappreciated in a sense because of the era when they came in. As far as even in New York. I don't think they get the credit, the full credit that they really deserve, bro. They kept this shit afloat. Yeah. And not um, only kept it afloat, but influence of the artists that were big in this time. <laughs> I'm not arguing with you. I'm we not arguing. Saying. I can't argue with you because I, I lived think, it. I, I don't think they get I you seen they get that I seen, I seen niggas you got the niggas pink on. I seen I mean, the nigga I, ass with pink on. I seen the whole. Yes, the shirt said pause on the front, no homo with a pink shirt. We beat that ass. I seen a whole section of Macy's pink polos. I had the pink. Flags. I had the pink and gray uptowns. Remember niggas no who, who started the designs on the construct? I remember niggas wanting the mad little jewels out here. First of all, if you don't realize it, the first time the bandanas were skinny. If you go back at first, niggas was rocking the skinny bandana. The big full bandana came from the G-Wells. Bandana Santana. They influence a lot, bro. And I just feel they don't get the credit, the full credit that they deserve. Like, even with this potential version shit, G-Unit versus Dipset, niggas is like G-Unit. Oh, you better sit down. I play Diplomatic Immunity 1 and 2 and get G-Unit the fuck out of here. <clears throat> yeah, I think but you got niggas that be like, oh, the record sells. That, that, oh, young man. 
Mm-hmm. Because they look in that 50 cent as G unit. That's why. Right. But, like you were saying about the unit, I'm just saying, they said need they need their flowers, man. Now, why are they all still alive? Yeah. I mean, they, they fuck with each other still, right? They always fuck with each other, bro. But what if they don't? Niggas just being. Niggas just being. Damn, she's bad. Niggas just did the Madison Square Garden shit, bro. <clears throat> yeah, but to end that conversation, um, y'all should start dropping more visuals right, right now, especially since the, since the city's like how it is, it's not as packed as it used to be. You can use certain areas now and just do yeah, what you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired so, of watching drill videos. I am drilled out. Pause. I can't. Niggas is gonna wool walk. In a circle, bow, and nothing gonna come up. Woo walking. I'm not, not, I love the woo walk. I love that shit. I love it. And it's just like, do something else. Man. It's crazy because all that shit fits, right? Talking about artists that do dance songs and shit like that. The kid from Atlanta, um, Cementio. Watch me with it. Watch me in a name. Why is he lit? Yeah, I about this fella dead. Boy, in jail for murder, they say he killed his cousin. Allegedly. Mm. <laughs> I wasn't there, so. Um, I mean, when somebody told me that when they, when somebody Salen told me the rules and they said his name, I didn't even know who the fuck that was. And then it was like, yo, they're whipping, whipping in that kid. I was like, oh. But they, like, the nigga, they got a lot of money because of the song. <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of money? <laughs> I would believe so. Um, <clears throat> charged, in, charged with his cousin's death and the shooting. Rapper Sony Tio 9 the his song Craze, watching me with Nick, was arrested Monday in DeKalb County and charged with murder and the death of his cousin. Authority said Ricky Lamar Hawk, 23, is accused of shooting 34-year-old Frederick Brooks. Multiple times outside a home in the Panthersville area last month. <clears throat> Hawk was booked into the Decal County night. Monday night is being held without bond on the single murder charge jail record show. Little was known about Rook slain when his body was discovered January 11th in the middle of the road. However, after a thorough investigation in Decal County Police Department, the detectives investigate Hawk as Rook's cousin and the person responsible for Rook's murder. Police spokeswoman Ms. Vincent said investigations are still work investigators are still working undercover to to uncover the motive of the shooting. Chanel Husband, who was identified herself as Hawk's publicist, is asking for prayer for the rapper and his family. She decided Hawk as a she cited him as a beautiful soul, that all this other shit. Uh, what was just pronounced that? The 30 m gunshots to the face and leg. Found eight. He shot. He shot at him eight times and caught him in the face and the leg. They not saying exactly what the altercation was about. I think they still doing the investigation. So. Listen, man. It's hard out here. It's hard out here for a pimp. It's hard out here, man. When you're trying to when get money for the rent. You know what I'm saying? When you go from zero to hero, I mean zero to superhero, nobody to somebody, I mean, it's just still, the pandemic didn't happen last year. That shit would have been played at, at it still was played at kids' parties. Yeah, I, I was hearing that shit every day still. I hope he was getting the royalties up. I'm not going to assume anything, but I just can't see uh, I don't know if son died, but um, what's the name of that shit? Um, slide to the left, slide to the right, crisscross. Chinese one. That's not chopper. Not chopper, y'all. Yeah. He's still alive. Yeah, he should be. Yeah. He ain't he killing no. Be. He ain't killing nobody. Yeah, Even if, if it's an are... argument going on, he like, yo, listen, get the fuck out my house. Yeah, because if you are one hit wonder like that, a song like that, that's 
dance craze, that's kids' parties, that's, you know, that's every, that's forever, you know what I'm saying? And Silent Tom! <laughs> Remember that song that shit was hot, nigga? Now, I mean, that's just still hot, bro, that's what I'm saying, that's a kid's jam. Just, even kids bop that shit, boy. So, I mean, damn. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say and then, like, you can't be like, I don't know what happened, but, you know, uh, rest in peace to the fallen. Mm -hmm. And hold your head, man. Y'all ain't for no man. Yeah. Unless you're a fucking pedophile rapist. But then you should die. That's just how I feel. But y'all ain't for no man, man. You shouldn't be in no cage. Animals shouldn't be in cages. That's crazy. Animals shouldn't be in cages. Nobody should be in a fucking cage. Yeah. <clears throat> if you too if you too out of control for society, niggas should put you down like a rabbit dog. That's a fact. That's how I feel. <laughs> what? Hit me up. Tell me if I'm bugging. That's how I feel. Like why why are we paying tax dollars for uh Jeffrey Dahmer? I mean, yeah, all right, I understand what Come you on, mean. Huh? But, like, Come on, huh? <laughs> so what you gonna do? All right. Niggas face firing squad. They talking about that. Yeah, I was gonna say. So what you gonna do with somebody with a petty clown? They talk, huh? What you gonna do with somebody with a petty clown? What you mean? What he do? Stole <laughs> something. Ten niggas had a finger off. A finger to some yeah. type of message. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Can't let these niggas run. Don't me. let me be it. <laughs> I had this shit jumping. You, you want crime to it, stop? You want crime to slow down for real? You gotta get real penalties. Yo, boy, we caught you, you smoked him. You killed him. You going to trial, you, you guilty. Fire squad, that's it. Right there in the court. <laughs> Especially if you like court and the rights. Oh, uh, look at this. Look at this tape. That's you, brother. I mean, you shouldn't be killing nobody, period. You shouldn't be taking shit that's not Self defense or something. There's a lot of shit that you shouldn't do, but um, it, it's just that I think this, 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 um, judicial system is so fucked up that it's hard for us to be like damn is there something other than that that could help that's the yeah, so see? it's hard for us to think about yeah. that so think about but my we, shit the way yeah, i'm saying you it's like, like nah, oh yeah, that's I crazy mean, i could i but, but then i could work. envision it in america you know? should have worked but then when you start looking at like documentaries and shit in other countries where it's it's literally a rehabilitation center them motherfuckers got a room at least this mm -hmm. size with a TV. Mm -hmm. But you, or if all you places not, yeah. where the shit is worse than here. All places where the shit is the size of this table and shit. you sitting in there. You can't it. smoke weed in Dubai. You think niggas getting high out there? You think niggas getting high out there? I want to go out there so bad. I you think niggas there. getting high out there? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right, don't get caught. That's what I mean. Just don't get caught. But I believe. Don't get caught. If you a homegrown nigga, I think there's people over there. I'm not smoking no butt over there. I, think I don't even trust them. Right. Nigga be like, yo, you smoke over here. No. No, where the car is at? No, nope. you're going <laughs> to sit down and fall through a hole. It's over, man. Organ donor. Yes. So, I, yeah, I don't so, know, man. Yeah, so it's hard. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Hold your head, boy. You know what I'm saying? You, if, you, if he did it, then... Yeah, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, there's nothing nobody can say. Hold your head because oh, yeah. jail is different. Boy, you either, when you do the shit, you either gonna get away or you gonna get caught. Yeah, you should know what you're doing. Come even on, even, even in the rage of the moment, you should know what you're doing. Like, I'm about to kill this I'll person. I know I'm no, going to jail. I'm, I'm going to jail. What I'll be saying, I'm, I'm going this, to jail. This is a moment that I believe I should go to jail. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kill him right now. Cause he, I don't give a fuck it, who out here. He <laughs> took it. Well, let's say the situation is that's his what they said that's his cousin his uncle his cousin, cousin. so let's say he talking about his aunt or his mother or, you know something probably an internal family issue or he probably was asking him for bread and son was like listen well, the kid. covid or he touched Celente so probably touched one of the kids something or right he touched the kid. yeah something you don't know bro because Never know, man. Shoot me in the face, personal. I always say never that. know. So like we said, man, we just giving, we that, just giving I, our little I mean, opinion I'm, on the situation. I watch mm -hmm. Mad CSI, you know, Law and Order. And shit. Yeah, to be. To, yeah. They said he said he shot at him eight times mm -hmm. in front of the crib. He hit him twice. Once was in the leg. I, it says he got shot in the leg. head and the leg. Yeah. So, but he shot him eight times. 
They didn't say how many times he got hit exactly. We're just naming specific. Yeah. I'm gonna say he got hit twice. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, Two yeah. bullets out of eight. I'm gonna say three. He was right. Two in the leg, one in the head. He was right. He was trying to get away. Ba, 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 ba. He hit him in the leg. The nigga dropped. He walked over there and smoked him. And they could tell that. Yeah. It, unless, the exit wounds. And yeah, I, yeah. And how close. Yeah. If he walked up on him and shot him. That's execution. It's not. It's not if it started at self it defense in the crib. It, no, it ain't even. Bah, 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 bah. And I killed him. I wasn't. You could. I wasn't trying to kill him. I wanted him off my property. I was showing him. He was running and he ran. And you I know, said, "Fuck it." Shit. I hit him. I was trying to hit him low. He dies. He dies. He dies. If you were over, motherfucker, I told, told you, but you. Sir, meant to kill that individual, and you might get the death penalty. I mean, his mugshot looks like he like. Damn. No, like I don't care. I did. <laughs> like it don't look like. Man, he like. I'm gonna see what it's been like. I'm still tight. He dead? Cause I'm still tight. <laughs> he dead, right? <laughs> Not to make fun of me, but that's just what he looked like. Like Yeah, he looked like he don't give a fuck. Oh, he ain't look like that in the video I seen. <laughs> now, now he was dead. Not the way he was dead, so man. And he don't look like that. I don't want my kids looking at his video no more. That's crazy. In a similar vein to that. Now, man. here's the thing. Do you still play this song at kids' parties? He probably was playing that shit when he no, said that. No, Watch me. Watch me whip. Not you. Do you think this song keeps getting played at kids' party? Yep. Should it? Morally, I feel like people don't focus on morals, bro. <laughs> morally, should this song be played at kids' parties? I mean, you saying morally, no. The, an adult should be like, this guy is a murderer or whatever. If you feel that way, yeah, no. There's a reason we don't play 50 Cent, right? Um, what you mean? Well, he's talking about. You gonna play but that? At you a are party. gonna hear. Go shorty is your birthday. At a kid's birthday party. You might. I mean, depending uh, on who birthday party you at. If you hear go shorty is your birthday at the party, you hearing disco inferno. It's that type of party. It's that type of kid party. We all right, you're not gonna play. All right, you're not gonna um, play fifty catalog at a kid's party. No. Um, I don't know. Play Big Soldier at the kids' party. Yeah. <laughs> he beats women. I mean, everything is something. It's something everywhere, bro. I don't. You better I not really touch our slide back. Cause like we. I'm not playing this at my kids' party. I'm, I'm listen. If it's coming on, I'm at the party. Let's turn that off. I don't know. That man is a murderer. Like, he killed somebody. He just, no, the kids don't know that. Wow. Yeah, you know. I guess that's why I had to learn on my own that Mike was uh, Q was pedophile later. Right? Yeah, because nobody's going to really bring that up. They're just going to tell you that he's the goat. That's foul. Um, I don't know. You still listen to Chris Brown? Brown? Me? Me? Yeah. Yes. Even Kodo. He be the winner. He be Rihanna. We're not getting into that here. I mean, no. I'm just saying. We. Uh, you can't man, pull the keys out of the army. I understand that. You can't be biting niggas neither. But you can't just. You can't elbow to the fist a woman. <laughs> but you can't put both our lives at jeopardy like this. I'm going 120 right now. You just pulled the shit out the shit. <laughs> I understand why he was upset. I'm not saying I condone it. You, you understand what I'm saying? So you, you said we didn't want you ain't want to get fully into it, but I'm saying like he beat a woman and people still listen to his music because he beat up women. I say he beat up his woman and people still listen to his music. Because I believe people understood the situation. 
You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if certain people were still going to be like, yeah, just play the music. I don't even care what he did because that's how life is. A lot of people. I think once. I believe I, think, I heard Step to the Left the other day I at somebody's party. I think that's the beginning of like, the, the bad girl Riri shit because when it first comes out, it's like Chris Brown beat up. Yeah, she got and on her it's like, oh, she smoked wait, blood now. <laughs> wait, she snatched the keys out the Rari? Why don't we... We could die. <laughs> Listen, I do right. not condone putting your hands on women. Never. I they do not. You the right to do that. Unless it's life or death. And I'm not telling you how to handle it. But always choose to live. Yeah, and that's really just, wait, do I have, that's how I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Life or death, I will never let any human being just willingly try to take my life in any form of fashion. It's not gonna rock whether you're male, female, half male, half female, but whatever you was born. Math that I don't give a fuck. I'm not letting you take my one and only. Like there's no continuance in this. Ain't no press start. Yeah, but so that's the when point. it's life or death, my nigga choose life. But that's the point though. That's just the point that we try to make. Like if So I, I is, never held that against Chris Brown, bro. Not me, personally. No. Now if he had beat his Karuchi, if he had whipped her ass, I'd be like, now nah, boy. You wildin'. He's I, he's never had that. He's been yeah. he's been ex boyfriend crazy. He's light skin. He do a lot of stupid shit. He light skin. That's what we do. Hold on. Who told you I was done? I wasn't done. You done? Cool. Okay. I'll be outside. Yeah. This light skin shit. He is a real light skin. Nigga. But pe- like you said, people just don't have either that internal moral thing or just. Really don't give a fuck about shit, cause I know, I I know there's women that still listen to R. Kelly. I seen it the other day. You know what I mean? Like I, so I don't I don't know it. So I don't know. I seen it the other day. I, I can't meet myself. I can't listen to R. Kelly. I believe Will's. And that's fucked up, bro. I mean, if a song come on, I will listen to it. I'm not. I'm not putting it on. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. If I'm that not shit pops it up on the. R&B a radio station uh, on my Spotify, I might just listen to the song, but I might be like, mm. Nah, I skip. But my whole um, R&B playlist, I don't have no R. Kelly, bro. And it I, hurts. It hurts. I listen to Breezy Heavy. I don't... It hurts. There's certain shit that do bother and certain shit that don't bother. Because we still watch the NFL and there's a lot of players that just beat their wives for no reason. They're still playing. We, we look at it like NFL, why y'all not doing nothing? Man. And then it's like, you know what I'm saying? A so, lot of niggas be cool with beat exactly. their girls up. Yeah, like, like, let's get let's go there. A lot of niggas yeah. we cool with put their hands on their girls. Bro. Shit that's closer to us than this type of shit. Shit goes on and you don't, you might know, you might not know, you still. You can't be Superman all the time, bro. I mean, you can't be inconsistent with shit. You just got to be like, and it is, it's life. Life is life, and I people might not do it. something with my girl mm-hmm. that That's people somebody. don't like. Yeah, people, yep. people, people look at. I mean, yeah, I treat my girls right, but like when it's just me and them, I might say certain shit that be like, "What the fuck?" I ain't think not to talk like that to a female, but it's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I just don't want to. I don't want to come off judgmental, but people gonna do what they do. I still watch. I'm waiting for the Super. Bowl. <laughs> um, and, and staying in that vein of um, musicians doing shit like this, they just said Marilyn Manson got accused of um, abuse and his record label dropped him off it. But back to the same what type of label, abuse? Like beating his his girls. He had multiple girls that's saying. Who shot? Just over what you present, right? Um, it doesn't bug me that, bro. This is the man they said took a ribcage out, the second zone did. I don't know how true that was. 
But if it is, that nigga is capable of doing anything. That man that does some shit like that is capable of doing anything on this planet. Yeah, I know if I was he probably learned how to fly if he gave his, if he tried that hard. Who the fuck know? How you even know to move a rib and you could get down there? That nigga rib label that he been on forever said, nah, you can go. Oh, Interscope? got rid of him? So he's been there since the beginning, since the inception, because they wasn't, um, Interscope. He was the uh, cool dude. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah, man. That's why he was on Eminem shit in a video. Hmm. Well, it was multiple claims, so you know, like we said. How many? It's more than ten. Let's see. Let's get that. Let's get that full story. You know my. You know my shit. Let me hear how many it is. How mad you was that you wasn't at that snowball for that? I mean, that shit was Washington Park. Yeah, that shit was at Washington Square. I was highly upset. I ain't even gonna hold you. I was. Very upset. I said, "Okay, this is what I realized in that moment." Because right? yeah, I was about to just just go. Right? Yeah, I was just about to spew it out. <laughs> in that moment, I realized I'm old, bro. I've been fighting with this shit for a while. I said, damn. Nobody put me on? I ain't get the link. And, and nope. that also made you think, damn, the homies is old too. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. Nobody icy. Nobody said the, the steel, the snowball fighting. And that was good snow because I walked by school and I said, oh, niggas were Especially me, because I think about that shit every day. I'll be like, yo, all, the, all my niggas got kids. Like, niggas is old. You know what I'm saying? So then when I saw that, I'm like, ain't none of my niggas gonna be out there unless they out there with their kids and their kids is not big enough for this right now. Nope. <laughs> so nobody gonna hit me. <laughs> I was in the crib like, damn, this is crazy. Yeah, I'm old, bro. I, I still, I mean, I look young. I'm still all in all. I still got the energy. I still feel like I'm 16, 17. I don't feel like body-wise physically. Except for like strength, I guess, and shit like that. But as far as like, I'm, nothing aches. My back hurts sometimes, and I stretch. Yeah. Still in good health, thank God. But I'm still here, still alive. But niggas is old, bro. Son, even five years ago, niggas wouldn't know about that snow fight. It just says two women. Oh, they might be lying. They might be lying. I'm not saying they are. Just saying, it's possible that they can be. That's it. Don't hold that against me. But that nigga crazy. Yeah, he crazy. But damn, bro, we all heads now, bro. And we young old heads. That's how I look at it. I'm gonna keep saying that. But I should have been at that snowball fight. I definitely ain't go to work. That shit made me think about <clears throat> our Halloween days, our snowball fight days. Halloween days was crazy with the eggs. Remember that one year? The older niggas was chasing us and shit. I booked it down, putting them. I think niggas ain't catching me. Niggas on the roof at eight thirty one, throwing them shit all the way to Ralph. Niggas like looking around, where this shit coming from? My lost them shit half a block away. Yeah, we had we had the whole hood smelling like ass. Yeah, <laughs> arms was tight when I came in the crib. Like what the fuck? Nah, you just hey, gotta bro, throw that man. shit out. <laughs> They said y'all threw eggs everywhere. This whole four or five block radius smell like fart. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. You mean um, I said Timothy Blade hit with a snowball? Oh, that was his name? That wasn't a snowball, that was an egg. I was beating him with an egg. It wasn't frozen. I just threw that shit hard as fuck. Oh, I was boy. like, nah, 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 I ain't playing. I had like eight eggs in my pocket. I said, you fucked up, nigga. <laughs> one of them shits in the air. And when them shits was about to land, I threw the other one. So they, like, looked around. That shit came up right here. I just seen blood. So that snowball fight just reminded me, like, nigga, you could get out there, but you're about to be sending your ass down. 
The last days, sir. Should have been at the snowball fight, bro. When the fuck is the next one? Hopefully we get Hopefully this noise this Sunday. Come. If that shit happens Sunday, guess what? We out there all day. We're going to look like two old niggas in a sitcom waiting for young niggas to pull up for a snowball fight. That never happens. They're going to be a prospect Paul. That'd be fucked up. Hey, we, I'm definitely put that, putting that in my script. <clears throat> And Don go to <laughs> to try to catch the next one, and guess what? We got gloves. They checked it live, and had my best out. The motherfucker, the little motherfuckers is across town. <laughs> had my best out, fly head band on and shit. I got goggles. Like, Look at these old niggas. I'm gonna be like, the arm is still crazy. arm is still real. Huh? I threw a football the other day. I said, huh? They still got it, huh? huh. Patrick Mahomes, you don't know. You've been playing me right now, nigga, not that nigga. <laughs> Facts. They have been the Chiefs against the Washington football team. <laughs> Bum ass niggas. Any new music drop? Mm-mm. Ain't no music drop. Ain't nobody trying to hear no music. I don't know if y'all out there trying to hear no music. I'm not trying to hear no music right what? now. I'm not. I'm not. Depends on who drops. Conway about to drop, but he say he don't know a date. You talking about March, right? I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm waiting for these movies and shit to come out. I'm, that's what I was about to say. I'm in. I'm in a uh, cinematic mode. The game uh, said he better than Pat Pooch drops some shit. Content. Pat Pooch drops some shit called January. Mad Lib, he dropped a um instrumental album. I was listening to it earlier, side. Second episode of Black History Month, we're going to go right here. Um, Ryan Coogler just penned a deal with Disney for the Wakanda series. It's dope. You got a whole new uh, set and all that. Is it going to be animated? You asking me or Ryan? I don't know. Me to ask Ryan. <laughs> I would think that, it, I don't know if the series is animated, but I know he's doing part two as well. Because he has a new set of Wakanda. Mm-hmm. I would like it to be. How the fuck you do that? Is my question. Because he's fucking with Disney. Mm-mm. Like, how do you create a set for a country? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I can, I can create a canvas of three, four blocks in a hood. Because I already have the um, landscape that I want, right? Mm-hmm. But to create a fucking world, mm-hmm. like, how do you have a mind for that, man? Oh, well, yeah, it looks like it's going to be an in act like humans. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's that's very intriguing. Me. That's the next thing that I really want to learn and get into. Cool. Uh, cinematography. Uh, and editing. Yeah, that's why. I really want to be writing, but I haven't wrote one for that shit in a minute, bro. Black Panther Helmer, H E L N M E R. I don't know what that is. Ryan Coogler stakes his proximity media banner to a five year exclusive Disney television deal with Comedy Series and works with Disney. Yeah. Shout out to that man. Wakanda forever. You know? Yeah, yeah, he working on the Black Panther sequel. Why are he doing on what's the name too? Blade. I don't know if that was confirmed. When I heard it it wasn't, it might be now. But that's Marvel too, so it, it makes sense. It makes sense. It's in the same vein. Well, um, I can't. Mashala. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Stacey Abrams nominated for Nobel Peace Prize. Okay. Hand claps for those. Damn. Shout out to her. Shout out to Stacey. Stacey. Um. Where we going? Where we going? 
You want to touch on this story from the Rochester? Rochester. The Rochester police pepper sprayed a nine-year-old girl. I seen that and didn't want to really look at it because I'm like, what the fuck, bro? So what what happened? What was the problem? What was the issue? Let's see where you are. as a police officer suspended after girl nine handcuffed and pepper sprayed. Let's see why. I hate computers sometimes, but I ain't gonna hold it. Slow. I mean, what is shit that pops up? I would wait. And it was a white lady and a little nine year old black. The city of Rochester, New York, has suspended police officers seen in body camera video screen a chemical irritant in the face of. A distraught and handcuffed nine-year-old girl, officials announced on Monday, the city did not specify how many officers were suspended. The suspensions will last at least until an internal police investigation is completed. The decision was announced. Give me a release by showing. All right, here we go. Show the girl being restrained after officers were summoned to a family disturbance on Friday, crying and shouting, I want my dad. The girl was led to the police car and was sitting in the back seat when a male officer told his colleague, just spray her at this point. Police proceeded to pepper spray the girl. She shouted, wipe my eyes, and the officer then closes the door. The video shows that at least seven officers were present. On the screen, uh, it says that they had multiple shit like this incident. That happened in Rochester. So I don't know. It looked like there was a like a family dispute and the cops of course like boom will come up in there and think that they want shit. So maybe the kid maybe the parents was fighting and the kid was like whatever. Or, I don't know. see the reason uh, um, yeah, to get so crazy with a nine year old kid. A, f a girl like that. Uh, I don't, uh it's not valid. I don't care. Was it black? So I wanted, black girl? Yeah. So I wanted to bring it up so we could just talk on it a little bit and just keep our eyes on it and see what happens with this. Office. There's, there's no reason for that at all. You shouldn't. Yeah, because we don't know exactly what happened, but you don't. You should just tell them all right away. They don't say the officer's name, though. I wanted to put her on blast. It was a female officer, though. So, yeah. Fuck that cop. That's what I got to say. Suck my dick. How about that? Officer. What you think about the game saying dick. nobody even cop that can fuck with him? Nobody can cop that can fuck with him rapping? <clears throat> he do shrooms. Yeah. That's what I think about it. He just said he do shrooms. <laughs> Some type of drug and hallucination going on over there. <laughs> There's no way he fucking thinks that, bro. Um, Jeff Bezos steps down. Step down. Good man. As Amazon CEO. Good man. Good man. Smart man. I'm not knowing his reasons, is, but I, I'm I, expecting. Why would you think that that's a smart move? Bro? Um, to take yourself down from, you know, chairman to a board member. Mm -hmm. Especially after his divorce, mm -hmm. I think that's a good move. I'm not, I want. Oh, I he said you ain't taking all my money. I mean, she took. She took the bread. She took bread. She took what she needed. She took. She took. A, she took some bread. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Iron Man. It ain't that's nothing. A, yeah, it ain't nothing. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She took, you can't keep taking. You understand? Uh -huh. You ain't gonna keep doing that. So I, I think that's why he stepped down as well. Um. Change the position, so pause. But uh, yeah, shout out to Jeff Bezos, man. I probably step. He probably had to wait till now to step down because they just released.
their uh, I think their quarterly earnings or their yearly earnings, either one. So as soon as they made that announcement, he was like, "Yo, I'm stepping down." I mean, I did it last year. He did it. Yeah. You know, um, finishes his '94 in the garage. I'm out. I'll be a trillion yeah, man in three. I'll be a trillion man in three years. How much money you need, right? How much more stress I need? Now I'm gonna be on the board and judge the decisions that y'all make. I don't have to make the decisions. I can go be chilling, y'all. We got a board meeting. What the fuck is going on? What y'all doing? All right, cool. All right, that's good. I don't know. So we probably won't even understand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't even understand. They probably even going there for board meeting, especially with the pandemic and shit. You got this, you know what I'm saying? Got the little video box right there and shit. Right on the island, or on this yacht. Yeah, he made what he needed to. This, with, a, with a little 20 year old. I mean, this is. It's almost like Rockefeller, right? This is why you make your dream come true. One day you're going to sell that. You know what I mean? And you need to know that it's that profitable. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get rid of it. You're going to step down one day. Move on, and he man. will step down as chief executive at Amazon, leaving the helm of the company he founded 27 years ago. He will transition to the role of executive chair in the third quarter of this year, which starts July 1st. The company said, Andy Jazzy, the memo, Bezos said the transition will give him the time and energy I need to focus on the day one fund, the Bezos Earth Fund, Blue Origin, the Washington Post, and many other p- passions. And that's why. He want to pursue more shit. I'm still young, you know what I'm saying? get what he getting from that. And yeah. he's still a member of Amazon. He's still a, you know what I'm saying, a board member. The announcement set off alarm bells on Wall Street and throughout the business mm-hmm. community due to transition. Blah, blah. As soon as the bell rung, that shit dropped. I said, oh, thank God, because he'd have fucked up my money that day. He definitely would have. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to you, man. Go do your thing, you know what I'm saying? You should just cash out every American. You should just. $3,000. Buy some AMC stock. That's what you should do. Uh, okay. GameStop went down to fifty one dollars. It's down to fifty one dollars and sixty one cents a share right now. Down from last week four hundred and eighty three dollars. Mm-hmm. After being at two dollars and fifty seven cents. Yeah. So it's dropping. <clears throat> so anybody that's in here in the stocks that's watching this, I advise you if you have it to go buy some right now. At least two. You want to talk about the um Joe Button deal? Patreon? I didn't hear about it. You didn't hear about it? Mm-mm. You watched that episode? The new episode. Yeah. I didn't watch it. And this didn't jump across your time feed? No how? Nigga, you went by podcasting. I've been on my stock shit. It's the same thing, bro. Yes, it is. It's the same thing. That shit is not popping up. Well, it should have popped up. Joe Biden brings podcast to Patreon, mm-hmm. and he joins the company as head of creative equity. Uh-oh. So, basically, after splitting with Spotify last September, the broadcaster says he trusts Patreon vision and ability to expand the Creator economy. Five months after his blog bust the deal with Joe Button is partnering with another subscription platform. Basically, I'm gonna read this because I watched the episode, right? He was saying that what I was saying with the Shad Moss deal with BAT, but they that's what he's doing with them. He's got he could bring in other podcasts and stuff like that. And he bring in the Joe Button podcast there. They doing two extra episodes there and they doing the subscription thing. Five, ten, twenty-five dollars and shit like that. But the important part of that is that he's gonna be doing the creative equity shit. So he gets to tell you what percentage you um, and he told it to the boss and everything. So what he needs to be doing. That's exactly what, doing, yeah. what he needs to be doing. See how the energy is different for what for Joe Biden. So like I gotta watch that episode, but I've been waiting for the news. 
Because Joe has been putting in that work. Yeah. And like he was saying, he turned down so many life changing situations well, I mean, that I remember what brought me to Joe to. Button's podcast. When niggas was talking podcast, I'm like, yo, I'm, I don't got time to sit here and watch some nigga talk. Mm-hmm. It's like stone shit. That's what made me start watching Joe. With him and... Tax Stone got together. Uh, yeah. Tax Stone was like, what's up with your man? What made you... This nigga you liked his energy right there? You must say um, Joe said, bro. I, 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 yeah, I think it was that. Because you already knew Joe for being an asshole. Not only that, but... But you ain't know exactly Joe what he was doing in the podcast. Joe Buttons had the morning show on Hot 97. And I think people forget about that. Yeah. He already had not only training, but experience. And even at that time, it was like, oh. Uh, because mm-hmm. Joe was still rapping. And he was doing the morning show. And he yeah. was doing, it was good. I had already had Stormbook Wild. He Sean, was still rapping when he was podcasting. Yes. He had he the rage in the machine. Yeah, yeah. He retired in second, second season yeah. of the podcast. I already had Dr. Dre and Ed Lover. You know what I'm saying? The morning show was already hot to me. Then he stepped in and it was cool. It was informative. He was telling me about other shit. Mm -hmm. So I think people forget that when they see him in doing, being a podcast. They're like, yo, Joe's a rapper. I'm like, son, he's been at this media shit in a sense for almost 20 years. Yeah, he he went on the internet when the internet wasn't even that. But even before remember, the internet, he's on the radio. Yeah, because remember when he got jumped, when he got beat up by Wu Tang or whatever, he got he got bad on the internet like. He was the first rapper. <laughs> yeah, he did. He was the first rapper like. Billy and then he he that. always had his shit. He had. This is what I say. That channel was up there already. Yeah. Joe Button TV. Yeah. Because he was doing everything in the crib, him and Tahiri, and all yeah. the extra shit. And yeah. that shit is still on YouTube. Yeah. Even shit where he was just chilling with, he, he got old shit with him and Maul just talking. Mm-hmm. And his homies and all this extra shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, again, like, we don't want to sound like they say they the whole Vengers. We don't want to sound like the Button Vengers. You know what I'm saying? But we always going big what he's doing up because. Like I keep saying, it's the blueprint. Mm-hmm. I'm literally trying to follow what he's doing, and I don't have no shame in saying that. You know what I'm saying? I might put my mm-hmm. own twist to it, but he keeps saying that this is why I'm doing it. So the ones that's coming after me can follow it, or y'all don't follow it, but I think and it'll be best sense. if y'all follow it. Can make, make y'all shit after what's going on. <clears throat> and if you've been in tune, not just starting to watch him from four years ago when we started this, we would... You got me into watching podcasts. I'm like, this nigga really shit. Oh, this is cool. So we've been like mentally getting I, ready for I just thought that you would like this wave because you you was an avid read, reader of books mm-hmm. and you like music. So I just and thought sports. I just not that I just thought that those two things link as a podcast. Like your attention span, a book takes a long time to read. Yeah. That's the equivalent of watching something for three hours. And understand. You know what I'm saying? That's the equivalent of watching something for three hours, but not something like what we used to watch. And we used to watch in sports for two and a half hours and not feeling like it's two and a half hours. Right. Because it's action going on, it's timeouts, it's this and that. But somebody just sitting down, like I was watching early Joe Rogan. And I'm like, at first I'm like, damn, this is hard to watch. But he got interesting people that he's talking to. Mm-hmm. So I'm watching it. And then, you know, watching the other platforms. But his platform is like, is he's too relatable to me. Yeah. I to that. me. Mm-hmm. I, I literally think like him. <laughs> like not this business shit. I think. Personal wise, like with women, with friends, with even questions family. that you ask, yeah, like, like how we start stuff. You like, oh, they just created a uh, a question, like Joe Rogan do that. Yeah, like I. You like no, that, that that you said that. And I don't, I don't, I the one thing it's that I don't think person. I'm like him about is 
it's not a um signs thing. I, I don't think it's a Virgo thing, but it might be. <laughs> so Joe I don't Rogan know. Virgo too. Uh, I I don't know. Joe Button. Joe Button. I think his birthday is two days after mine or something like that, or early September. Yeah. So but, I mean, I think it's dope, and I've been waiting to see which platform will give him. <coughs> not excuse me, not just that title, but that freedom to build. Mm-hmm. Stop getting in these creators way. Like and, and trying to tell them, oh, this is how I want it. This is it, oh, you're not doing it. Shut up. Yeah. You brought me here for my vision already. Mm-hmm. And what you see, just let me work. Mm-hmm. Let me work. And you sit there, cut the check, and make the money. So I think Patreon is gonna give him um exactly what he's looking for because they're also you know, trying to get ahead of a lot of these. Uh, and they growing. And like he said, when you watch the episode, they grow in the right way that he wants it to grow. Mm-hmm. And they taking care of everything that they need to take care of. And it's, it's, it's not, it's po- like he said, it's like poetic to me that all these other platforms that was either talking about him in a negative or positive way are on this platform. And he gets this position on this platform. You know what I'm saying? So that's because that's what I was gonna say. Because Queen's Flip is on Patreon. So what happens now? He reports to Joe. No, not not reports to Joe, but J- Joe is just bringing in new talent and shit. So like it's not Queen's like, Flip is already there. Yeah, yeah so and he's he's in his deal. Yeah, he's in his own deal. Or what? I don't, but I don't think it's nothing like what Joe got because he don't got nothing to do with. Yeah. So Joe is gonna like he'll he's probably gonna be doing this shit right, and then he'll bring in girl I guess exclusive episodes on Patreon. Yeah. You know shit like that. Then he'll start bringing in other shit, and then he'll bring in the Don Call and DVD Game Show. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it's lit from there. So. Yeah. Um, all right. Shout out to Joe Button, man. Magneto, whatever you want to call him. Fucking network. <laughs> the shout Joe out Button to the network. network. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> that's that's right right there. Yeah, so I don't know, man. You see my son Conway smash all that stupid ass Griselda shit people be talking about. Uh, that's why I don't even argue with people, man. <laughs> Niggas trying to tell I'm like, yo, that's not real. He does that all the time. Yeah. Nah. Niggas trying to tell me they family, you know, Wu Tang's family. I'm like, they not Wu Tang. But you know what? You pray. <laughs> But I'm trying to tell you, he's trolling, bro. They all got their own thing. Wes is building Griselda still. Conway is building drum work, and Benny is building uh, BSF. You see my son, little Uzi Vision? (laughs) Son is an idiot. (laughs) He's a fucking idiot, bro. He put a $25 million... Stone on his forehead and like okay planet in first of all this. right I'm just checking what? there's no groove in my forehead that fits a gym so did this nigga dig like have his skin taken out to put the thing you got it implanted bro what do you mean? They put a gym in his head and yeah, stomped him with a fucking construction boot? No. They probably like... Lasered it in? Yeah, some shit like that. Some type of surgery. Uh, he's a dickhead. I'll never listen to his music, ever. I'm not even entertaining that type of fuckery. Oh. Me when I can't look <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's, saying. That's the crazy part. He better not ever get caught lacking, son. Niggas gonna rip that shit right out of his forehead. I I kind of pretty much agree with you right there. I think somebody would try that. Somebody. Somebody's going to, it's going to be two niggas. One nigga's going to hold the stone like this, and the other nigga's going to punch him dead in his chin. And when he punches, he pulls. If that don't work, <laughs> they're going to hold him down by his ears and pull that shit out, bro. I'm getting that shit out. I got a knife that's getting that shit out. 24 mil? First of all. Let 
He got that on layaway. Who? Who? I, I seen it though. He got it on layaway. You're not telling me he paid he 24 million. <laughs> <laughs> what he had? GameStop? He had GameStop. Right he, got right. bread. he had GameStop. <laughs> he had son. There's no way. And right, let's say he just put down five to get it. Mill? Yeah. Because, you know, they could go to the jeweler, rappers like that, with his jeweler that he already right. had. So what we said, we know for a fact, he did not pay for that shit, 24 mil out of his pocket. We know he didn't do that. If he did that, he's even a bigger fucking crazy. idiot. Yeah, he's, a, he, he's <laughs> even a bigger fucking idiot than I thought, right? So, if he didn't, and he got to pay it in installments and shit. If this nigga start to, like, but the, you say it, you say the same thing about certain that people that take their real teeth out and put gold teeth in? You say the same thing about that? Yeah, I've been saying that. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. you, you see Lil Wayne? Yeah, that's what he did. Him and baby. That's why I ask, because niggas do shit like that. That nigga bald with no teeth now, bro. Shout out to my son, Lil Wayne. Do what you do, you heard? Do what you do. Then you look dumb, two though. days, but then two days later he posted, "Yo, I gotta get it taken out." Why? Or I could die. <laughs> His shit was bleeding and all that. Like, this nigga thought he was in fucking Egypt. That boy thought he was the he one. He thought he was in Egypt, BC, nigga. He, he thought tripping. he was the one, not the two. Nope. Chief Keith hospitalized for what? I hope my son don't got the wrong one. I heard there's a rapper called Pooh Shiesty arrested in Bay Harbor Island double shooting. These niggas is crazy. Pooh Shiesty? Yeah. I don't know. I never heard of him. <laughs> Keep banging. Keep banging. <laughs> Joe Biden signs immigration order and es establishes task force to reunite separated families. Send me my check, nigga. It is February 4th. Right now. Send me my check, B. Send me my fucking check, B. You ever play... Send me my check, You ever play college football games? No. Send me my check, though. You understand me? They, they bringing it back. That's to me. Understand me? I need it. Not to pay rent. I just need it for other reasons. And I read that they only giving it to, you know, people that make sons of 50000 this month. So they cutting niggas out. You know what I mean? Let me call my supervisor and tell him to cut some of my days now. Yeah, they bring back the NCAA football game, bro. Where? Yeah. Your man Casanova was on in jail doing the June bug challenge. Man, nah, happy. He was a... free that man. All right, let's get into Before he this. loses his mind. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Floyd Mayweather said he won't fight the Fifty Cent after he fight Paul. He didn't say that. Yeah, that's what he said. Fifty gonna tell a nigga to fight him for real. He said, this year I will be focused on several exhibitions. I will have an exhibition in Tokyo, Japan again. Of course, the one with Logan Paul and I. And if... <laughs> he did not write this. Yeah. And if Jake Paul exhibition... Wait. And if Jake Paul can get past his next opponent, Ben Askren, I will have an exhibition with him as well. I also heard that 50 Cent will fight me, but claims I'm too small. If he wants to lace up at the end of the year, we can do an exhibition. Exhibition. Then I don't care about <clears throat> weight class with any of these guys. The the Paul brothers will get will make great money with the events, but Fifty Cent will be winning take all. <laughs> so who you got? Fifty. Fifty gonna knock it, knock Floyd out. That's gonna count. Knock him the fuck out. Yeah, 
And he's not undefeated, like 50 said. 50 said he beat his ass before. <laughs> Remember that? Mm-hmm. 50 said they fought a few times. And he said, he got me. I give a million dollars to any of you charities if you could read one page of the Happy Body book. <laughs> he's not doing that. And Lamar Odom going to fight Aaron Carter. Who you got? Uh, whichever one smoke crack. Like right now? Yeah. Gonna win? Yep. Alright. So Aaron Carter gonna win. Yes. Cause I don't think Lamar Odom on this stuff no more. I hope not. I think Lamar Odom wanna knock this white boy out. Back strings back. <laughs> he gonna be like boom. <laughs> That's not who that is. That's the Aaron brother. Carter. That's the little brother. Oh, Aaron, uh, Nick, Nick, Carter. Nick Carter. No, Nick Carter is the brother. No, Nick is so Nick is so back to you. My fault, my fault, my fault. I don't know. My fault. I'm I'm distracting, my bad. Part himself. You tell I don't know what I'm saying. You tell me. I know one of them niggas, but I know this. I hope this ain't the little brother. This the little brother? I believe so. Aaron Carter, yeah. Um, He he was the one that had the solo army career. Lamar Owen gonna beat the brakes off that little nigga, bro. Corsair Karen? It's getting crazy out here. Where was Lakeisha at? It was Atlanta. Where was she at? Where was Lakeisha? I don't know if I go. said, fuck you. Don't talk to my husband like that. I'll she fuck you up. Yeah, she was drunk. <laughs> what was that? Who did this talk to? <laughs> you know the Black History Month, right? <laughs> and you never hit him? You got to go. I think we're right. You got to get out of here. But he, he, he said that he didn't want her to get kicked. He didn't want them to get kicked out. He said, I really don't mind the talk. We could go back and forth, but. Nah, it, you know what it is? It's not loud in there. Yeah, so you can hear it. You can hear her. Yeah. So he, him her. and the husband was going back and forth. And mm-hmm. then she said, don't be talking to him like that. Or oh, I'll fuck you up. Nigga, your mom said, like, whoa. Hey. Let me call it in here. <laughs> hey. Where we at now? What the NBA season look like? It was in Atlanta, right? Yeah. Maybe this season is late to me. I'm liking this. Yeah. I'm liking this season. It's, diff- it's what I thought it would be, very active. Um, and different. Like, I feel like the, the season starting in December after the bubble. Mm-hmm. Um, a few changes, like Chris Paul going over to Phoenix. Uh um, for them. They like, what, I knew that was going to be good for them. They're like in sixth place now? Something like that. Harold and Schroeder going over there to LA. Philly killing it though. Uh, the draft, uh, the way the draft went, because it was so like, I felt like it was, felt like I was watching a fantasy draft. You know, because it was like, oh, the information was so limited. Mm-hmm. It was like, we get this guy, we get this guy, so. Um, the season is cool so far. I'm enjoying it. The Nets look crazy. You know. As in what? Good? Often. I think it's a, I think as far as watching them, it's, it's going to be a show every night, of course. No matter who they're playing. Because it's like, if they're playing the Timberwolves, you expect them to blow them out. But then you're watching it. Not saying, I don't think, I'm not saying they play the Timberwolves, but they play somebody, the Wizards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, um, okay. I was here watching the game with you, and I was, it was like they playing the Wizards on Sunday. And I was like, oh, that's a W. Remember? I was like, they played the Wizards on Sunday. That's a W. No, it wasn't. But the game was so good, even the way it ended, it was like a show. Mm-hmm. So they have to get, their problem is the same thing that I said when the trade happened. They don't have no defense, they don't have no depth. They have to figure something out. <clears throat> um, or just play defense and key. Um, yeah, key like moments. like how they did last night against the Clippers. Just try to at least play situational defense and yeah. try to outscore the other team. Yeah. Yeah. Kyrie got to be on his, Kyrie has to be on his job every time. Yeah. Though. Like in the playoffs, he got to be on his offensive job every night. Playoffs, like what, how he did that. Time. He doesn't really Not have really, to, be but, to win. 
in the playoffs because of who they'll be playing in the East. It depends. Yeah, yeah, because uh, James Harden gets him started. He'll have to be like that against Philly. I don't think they need all three of them to beat Milwaukee yeah. or Indiana or Boston or the Knicks yeah. or Charlotte or whoever the fuck else is there. Yeah. I think they only real threat is Philly. Yeah. They got Doc Rivers at the coach. The niggas hate for love. He got MB looking also great. So shooters. Seven games. Doc Rivers coaching seven games against Steve Nash. That's an advantage. That's an advantage. Who's holding Ben Simmons? I mean, I know he Damn, don't shoot no jump shots, but Damn. don't shoot no jump shots. But who's guarding him to make it tough for him? Because yeah. he's, he's still a we still an all star in this league. Yeah, we need we need Cleveland to buy out. So we got we put him down there next. Oh. That helps. You know what I'm saying? That helps. Because what was we looking? Was it them we was looking at? We was like. Somebody had three rebounds or something? No, that was LA. No, that was Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis had three fucking rebounds. Yeah. Amazing. Super low, fast approaching. Fast approaching. It's been a few hours. Let's get it. Let's get it. I mean, uh, what time is it? We about uh, 74 hours away. Mm -hmm. Kansas City went red. Yeah, I'm kind of. Mm -hmm. um, and Tampa Bay went white. I'm on the edge. Uh-oh. Uh what? This game. Hey, see? <laughs> this the start of it. I got to see how this game starts. This the start of the game. Man. Sleep. Stressing on Thursday. On Friday. It's all right. Yeah, man. You had the haircut to do with the Rona. Possibly give some of my sons the Rona with doing this haircut of shit. And then um, we lost some of our linemen. We know that it's Barbara. Shout out to Adam Scheffler for repeatedly saying haircut. The haircut. <laughs> you changed the game. Changed the game. That shit fucked me up. That's a hit. What? What is a haircut? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think this is going to be, the closer we get, I think it's going to be a, a great game. So, I'm just hoping for that as well. You know, I'm always like that for the last game of the year. This is the last game till September. God damn. Damn, we love basketball all the way down. Yeah, but I love football. <clears throat> so this is the last game. I'm hoping it's a good one. If Brady gets blown out, that'll be cool too. As long as my homes have to get blown out. I'm alright with it. But um <sighs> we about to get What do you here. think Carson Wynn should go next year? They trade him? Listening to offers. They listening to trade offers? Mm hmm Give me two. Rams is off the table. Indianapolis. Send him to Jacksonville. I doubt they take him because they gonna take Trevor Lawrence. Um. This would be crazy. Give me some. Um. I don't know. Um, how about the, Washington? I was going to say Washington, and, can't trade him to the same division, and he bust your ass, he's not, he's not, I don't know about the Colts, I don't know if I like them over there, I don't know I'm if I like them over there, New England, never, no, Bill Belichick. Because I really team. could care less about. I think Carson Wentz is not good. Cam Newton will try to find something. Bill Belichick could take him. The Panthers are looking for a quarterback too. Only one year for Teddy. <clears throat> I heard they look in the trade for Deshaun Watson. Oh. Um, um, you got anything you want to give to the people? You know what I mean? Um, uh, bounce. 
Let me see what we got this week. We got the Super Bowl as we spoke on. Get in tune for that. Get your popcorn ready. Uh, Saturday is a calm night, right? It was calm. Um, be yeah, safe out there. Versus, man. I don't know, but AZ definitely did challenge Raekwon. AZ? Yes. He got 28 jumps? He don't got 20 jumps. To go against Raekwon. Oh, that's he gonna find a high on the rack, huh? I remember that nigga pulled up for 111. Niggas was hype. Oh, crazy. Yeah. But, um. Uh, other than he that. He spit, though. Yeah, he's nice. But I don't think he got Tony and them Jones. It's Brooklyn, but. I, I, want, I need somebody. I need a good versus right now, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The last one kind of. It was one we gave, but that didn't happen. I can't think about it right now. Uh, do we remember what we had gay boy? I want to see like two old school artists now. KRS one and Rakim. Some shit like that. Hmm. I don't. I keep telling you, I don't want to see Rakim die like that, bro. He don't got twenty of them things. So KRS one. I was playing against that for Kuja, and I don't want KRS one to die like that. <laughs> Uh, um, I guess Big Daddy King. OG rapping Big Daddy King. Some shit like that. That'll be dope. I'm into it. I'm getting my King off. Why do niggas dress up for verses? Can't nobody see you? What you mean? Like when they doing it on the camera? Nah, niggas get dressed up. I forget who it was. Was it Sweetie? When they did the bay shit, she dressed up in her bay, all her bay shit. Oh, like when the watchers, the viewers. Cause it's the night. It's time to get lit. <laughs> yeah. I hate being different sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time and not most times, but sometimes. I be trying to understand and I just don't. Well, everybody's different in their own ways, man. I watched Jill Scott and um, Erica Badu. Mm -hmm. But I was naked. <laughs> fucking clothes. I want. Listen, let me make a mistake and make a call. Uh, oh. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> With that being said, Thanks. we about to get up out of here. So, the dawn call, Yo. it's D Rick and Hippie, and y'all already know what we about to do. We about to get up out of here. That's damn. I was slacking on my Mac right there. Oh. <laughs>